Hi guys, it's Mark Zikri, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zikri of Space Command. Uh, many of you know me from my Mr. Sci-Fi channel and from Space Command, which I've been shooting now for a few years and putting uh, on Mr. Sci-Fi and basically taking around to sell as a show. But also for many, many years I was a writer in television working on a number of different series, one of which was Babylon 5. And when I worked with uh, Mira Ferlin on Babylon 5, I knew I wanted to work with her again and so I created the role of Dr. Von Odara specifically for Mira, and uh, we shot uh, the two-hour pilot with her and also recorded the prequel audio play and the two-hour pandemic episode, Ripple Effect, that has a wonderful scene with Mira in it. None of us knew, of course, that during the pandemic, Mira would uh, come down with West Nile virus and uh, sadly pass away a few weeks ago. So I very much wanted to share with you the first hour of Space Command, because it, it represents Mira's final great role. And I never saw her as anything less than great in anything she ever did. She was phenomenal. But um, but I really wanted to share this with you. It has an extra scene, the uh, short scene, that hasn't been in, in the episode before. But uh, some of you may have seen it uh, posted here on Mr. Sci-Fi, but this is mainly so that those who are fans of Mira can see this hour episode. You can also go to the Space Command store and buy a downloadable copy, and we'll be sending out Blu-rays uh, of the uh, of the two-hour episode when it's all done in the next few months. So um, you can find other of Mira's performances and also panels with her on Mr. Sci-Fi. I highly recommend that. But um, but for now, I just wanted to share this this wonderful role she performed that I was um, lucky enough to create. So that's it for now. We'll talk to you really soon. And now, without any further ado, here is Mira Ferlin in Space Command. Many years ago, great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Well, space is there. And we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Brother. We lost sight of his control. The ship could get you to the fourth cloud here, yeah, right? Grappling lines? She's too hot. You grab hold, she'll tear apart. Our instruments are non-functional. My daughter and I need help. Urgent help! Heat scrambling the reception. They don't know we're here. Sir, I think I can maneuver and get under her hull. Negative, Lieutenant. We can't risk this ship. We can't just let them burn to death. It's enough, Lieutenant. Inform HQ, we'll follow her down and send coordinates on the debris field. Give me a survival compartment. Sir, don't just leave her out. Sir, Lord, not give her a prison. She's done for. Buckle in, sir. Kill her!
have an angel fly into your life when you least expect it. <laughs> Glad to be of service, Dr. Adara. Captain, brought the med kit. Your hands. I'm fine. Attend to my daughter, please. Please stand clear. They bust your ship all to hell. So they give you a shiny new one. I did. My day we call them road captains. Retired on active duty. Senior officers just waiting for their pension. Keeping their heads tucked in. Never taking a risk. Dad, just hold your tongue. Park Hill will get kicked up the food chain and you'll make captain. Another victory for spinelessness. Get a failure in her, that's all. I wasn't talking about him. <sighs> this place sure has changed. Used to be a desert. It's all just the synthetics. He's two months away from retirement. Well, I'm supposed to burn down his career and mine. Word on a grapevine is he's rethought that. What? Well, now that he's kicked up the chain of command, he's put off his retirement indefinitely. One more bad penny keeps getting to make life and death decisions. in the good old days. Humans weren't designed to observe. We were built to do. So yeah, I miss them. Let me tell you something. Soft lives make soft men. Soft men make soft choices. What's the point of that? You're not even on the planet. But Mecca is. You keep saying that. So do you. And I'll keep on saying it. It doesn't make a frigging bit of sense. You have to have something to believe in. I believe when this shift is over, I'm gonna have a drink.
After a 30-year delay, the Nobel Peace Prize was awarded today to human rights activist Anoka Chandamal Kammer, whose United Planet movement culminated in her future husband, Captain Anson Kammer of the United States Space Command, spearheading a multinational force that tethered a captured ice comet to the North Pole, causing the Gulf Stream to be renewed and averting an ecological disaster of catastrophic proportions. In other news, British forces on Titan faced insurgents today. There were no reported fatalities. We snared a comet, hauled it to Earth. It was a hell of a thing. I was a hero to the whole world. But to the brass, I was still a pain in the ass. But it's never about the brass. To soar up there, that's what it's about. That sky's been calling to the men of our family ever since your great-great-grandfather joined the Lafayette Escadrille in World War I. We fly. That's what we cameras do. And one day, you're going to have a ship of your own gonna fly a lot farther and you take care of her and your crew hey mom getting away from it all I'm beginning to feel grateful for those 30 years of peace. It's so good to have you home. Sorry I didn't make the ceremony. My only regret is that they didn't honor your father as well. An idea as unpopular as mine was is nothing without a relentless someone driving it home. What was the overlook? I, I love your father dearly. But he would alienate as many people as he would enroll. Politics. going to follow in his footsteps. That's his courageous path. Except I know that's not possible. Courage doesn't follow. service. And whom do you serve? Whoever leases me. And how does that make you feel? Happy. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dor Nevin, the first of what will soon be legions of contented synthetic workers to serve your every need. Brought to you by Mazzy Patillo. Questions? Yeah. Did they harm humans or allow humans to come to harm? With the exception of the combat models, no. If, like the brochure says, they're smarter than we are, what's to prevent them from doing whatever they want? Good question. The same thing that compels them to safeguard humans and obey their every command. An inhibitor chip guaranteed for the life of the mom. Now, there'll be time for more questions at the reception, but for right now, let's show our friend here exactly what we think about it, okay? You hear that? 
fucking love you. <laughs> Are you alive? No. no. How bad is it? Bad, but it could have been worse. Only synthetics, no humans. Thank God for that. What do you want done with them? Burn them. They're under warranty. We'll get some more. I think I can fix this one. Ah, trash him. He's not worth it. You got something better for me to do? Well, suit yourself. Come on. Let's go. supposed to be your ship. You're the man of the hour, Captain, and it's not for me to question the wisdom of the brass. I just wanted to apologize. They're readying her sister ship, the Templar. I'll be out there soon enough. What happened there? An explosion with the Alcubierre drive. Took out a lot of good men. Command hushed it up. No faster than light speed for the foreseeable future. Solar system will have to do. Listen, do you want to get a cup of coffee or on the sandwiches they have here? It'll make you glad to get back to Mars. No, thank you. That's not what you're here for. Welcome to the Paladin. show it to you sometime. Thank you. It's just a movie. <clears throat> Sorry I don't have much in the way of parts. Thank you for my life. I thought you weren't alive. It's a matter of debate. Oh, sorry, that's uh that's my son. He's in boarding school on Mars. Hey, Dad. I... Wow, a synthetic. You've never brought one of those home before. Where are your manners, Odin? His name is Doran Evan. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Can we keep him? He's company property. I'm just fixing him. It seems only fair. They were going to destroy me. Why are you different than all the others? Odin, I was originally designed for something else. What? Private service. For important rich people? Yes. How'd you end up in the mines? We were crafted to ask questions to more efficiently do our jobs. But I was the first, and I had an eccentricity. Sometimes it seems I asked questions, which made my owners uneasy. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like you. Uh, we'll talk more later, son. Yeah, but Dad... Goodbye, Odin. 
You saw something, didn't you? Your inhibitor. It's been destroyed. You could replace it? Of course. Please. Don't. Crew quarters up there. Med bay, engineer, down there. Mark six. Deck creates a current through the entire suit, simulating 1G. Strike fighters. Pulse cannons, upper, lower, grappling lines. It works. And has a new car smell. Captain on deck. At ease. This is Simek. My intel op... Your intel officer. Chilton? I keep this bird alive. Glad to hear it. Le Guin. Navigation. Bradbury. Pilot. Have you ever been to Mars, Lieutenant? No, sir. I'm looking forward to it. Sometimes hard getting used to the fact you go outside without protection, you die. I'm from Detroit, sir. You'll do fine. So, not only stolen your ship, I've also taken your crew. I'll do you proud. And if you decide to save two more women from burning to death, They'll follow you into the mouth of hell. I'm not, uh, I'm not planning on doing that again anytime soon. I don't know, Captain. It's a pretty big sky. Hey, Laura. Uh, when you hit Marsport, maybe we can grab that sandwich. On second thought, we better not. I've got issues. I can be pretty entertaining. Remarkable animals, you men. Chimpanzees could not have done all this. Not without considerable modification. I thought you'd run away. I thought about it. But where would I run? Or more to the point, how? Do you like it here? It's a paycheck. It's a prison. Should you be saying this to me? Who else could I possibly say it to? I'm starting to get that uneasy question thing you've got going. I used to feel the same way about this place. Used to. Well, except for my son. I've stopped feeling almost everything. And yet, you believe in God. I've watched you pray from the mines. You, as I, are unlike the rest. My wife, Aronique, she was unlike the rest. We were camping, Yellowstone. You know it? Yes. Odin was barely a year old. This was before the volcano, of course. 
There was a flash flood burst through without warning. Big boulders, trees roaring by. Never seen anything like it. The water's alive, murderous. We got to high ground, but there was another family that was trapped. Veronique got a rope across, climbed over, and managed to start them back, one by one. Now it was her turn, but by then the water was higher. Odin was screaming, so I handed him off to one of the others. I. I moved along the rope. I stretched out my hand. And she was gone. If I had just had the faith to let go of the rope, to leap, you'd have both been killed. Since then, the only thing I've heard from God is silence. Maybe he's speaking to you now. The family you still have is on Mars. We could join him. Emergency power. Armed. Lead air control panel. Set. Fusion system panel. Set. Cabin pressure. Auto. Ladies and gentlemen, we are good to go. You all know this is my first command. And I know that you were expecting to be flying with somebody considerably more experienced and attractive. I also don't have to tell you who my father is. He casts a pretty big shadow. He and I, we don't see eye to eye on things. But he shared a story once with me about a young sailor a long time back who boarded his new ship and saw not one able-bodied seaman. So he leans to the nearest and says, Is that man deaf? Aye, aye, he's deaf. But he sees the reef before we near it. And while I, though blind, feel the wind before it blows, keep us safe from storm. And you're your captain with no legs? Aye. He must be carried, but he always knows the way. Alone, true, we're of little worth, but together, we are invincible! I, I just made that up. <laughs> but still, Whatever our individual weaknesses, together we will be invincible. Are you with me? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. <laughs> Lieutenant Bradbury. Yes, sir. If you don't mind, Captain's prerogative. Yes, sir. Command, this is Paladin. Requesting permission to get this show on the road. Roger that, Paladin. You are clear to begin launch sequence. On my mark. Ten. Nine. Eight. Four, three, two, one, mark. 
You. I'm sorry. I have I lost track of the time. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm early. Uh, someone directed me. Yeah, I've never seen the new Kyoto section. Mm. These are mining tunnels? Were. Mostly played out. Thank you for coming. I found out who was really responsible for Yelena's and my survival, and uh, I wanted to show my appreciation, albeit several weeks late. I have a gift. No, that's... Captain. It is Captain Nellie, yes? Arguing with me is a pointless endeavor. Only it's not here. We have to, um... I had a bite here with my team. They headed off to ready some things. I never imagined there was anything like this down here. It was built when they still had human miners. For workers? For workers, by workers. Who understood the needs of the soul. Please. I didn't know the... Synthetics eight. They can. Of course, there are more easily processed energy sources, but... Uh, but what? They still come. Let's go. Showing me how you did that. How you healed third-degree burns. Is that the gift that you had in mind? No. That's not something I can give. Please. Please state your full name. Dr. Von Odara. Thank you. You are cleared through voice print identification. Site 1404. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Huntington's chorea? It's a genetic disorder. Before they found a cure, it would affect coordination and in dimension. Before they found the cure is when I was diagnosed. Only there was an experimental procedure, not yet approved. I begged. It's not that I was afraid of death so much as just never accomplishing what you were meant to do. <laughs> yes. And? It worked. And it had the most remarkable, unintended... Let's just say that I'll stay this age for a very long time. And why wasn't it? Trumpeted to the world. Without considering the possible role of the Huntington's gene, the maker of my miracle poured his chemicals into patients with a dozen other illnesses. They all died. Horrible, painful deaths. And the would-be savior disappeared his secret with him. Does your daughter know? About me? 
even if we could duplicate the formula, the gene wasn't passed on to her. Why burden her with knowledge that... She could never be like you. I found the perfect man for my gift. What is it? It's a beacon, Captain. We're not alone. This was here? When Miner started finding strange artifacts in the tunnels below, he did some deep ground scans. There's no city here. But there's one large mass the scans cannot penetrate. At a 200 million year level. Million? This is an old world, Captain. It is old secrets. That's why I became an archaeologist. Because they speak to us. All those who have gone before. Other cultures, distant times. And now across space. Mm -hmm. We've been deciphering some of the pictograms. And we're coming to believe it. Doctor, we've broken through to the chamber. You should come. I'll be there directly. It's the chamber. We've been awarded a grant by the Mazipatillo Corporation to find what's down there. The technology company. We hired an excavation team with a mining experience, and it sounds as if we may have our answer. I'm sorry. I have to leave. So you know what they're trying to say? Not yet. Not completely. But I'm hopeful it's along the lines of, come find us, we're one. It's fading. It seems to ride the storm. Well, I'm not the only one in demand. Oh, that's my superiors, real and me in. Oh, not that they bother to say what for. <laughs> Thank you. For that. I hope you find what you're looking for. And you as well. Captain Essex. Captain Kemmer. So the Templar was Dr. Red Sands. Congratulations. Thank you. Room! Attention! Be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, we've summoned you because this situation has arisen which could present considerable hazard to... Oh hell, you can explain this a damn sight better than I can. Greg Massey, the Massey Patillo Corporation. Thank you, Joe. Hi, folks. Some of you I've met before. I'm sure the rest of you are thinking, he's a lot shorter in person. <clears throat> Several weeks ago, we suffered a catastrophic incident at one of our mining facilities in the asteroid belt. And in the chaos that followed, one of our pieces of equipment experienced a serious malfunction and has gone missing. Oh, Dr. 
Hodar. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. The Siths are setting up lights now. We'll be able to show you what we've uncovered in just a moment. Oh, don't keep me in suspense. Tell me. No. You'll be delighted, I assure you. Que slada, que mas flat is this stuff? Castanhas. Estou sempre só para isso. What are you two talking about? Nothing. Dr. Hodar, you're a very handsome archaeologist. I, I was just wondering if you're I might... A, you're a sweet man, but I'm just not... Christine inside. We'd better shed these. You're sure the door Nevin's damaged? He seemed to be working just fine, what little I saw of him. The very fact that he could leave the mining facility indicates that his inhibitor chip is disabled. He should have been returned to a warranty station for repurposing. And that's exactly why the synthetics are only leased. But it's funny, it's Dor. He was the first one off the assembly line, and I don't know, I always felt a little bad that I'd lost track of him. He said that there's an accident at the mines. Perhaps he wanted to work somewhere less hazardous. It's not his choice, Captain. Any more than your ship has the right to tell you where it wants to go. They can't make informed decisions. At a Japanese restaurant, I saw some synthetics having a meal. No, I highly doubt that. Their fuel cells are more than adequate. Well, they seem to be doing it for enjoyment. Captain, I make a very good product. And I understand that some people even anthropomorphize their vehicles, so I shouldn't be so surprised when they project human feelings on my machines. But for you, a man of your caliber... Pops, back off. Caps is taking us where we want to go. You don't have to... Bust his chops. Excuse me. In uh, all of the excitement, proper introductions weren't made. Captain Kemmer, this is my son, Alton. And this is my assistant, Mary Jane, who does all the real work. Except for the synthetics, of course. We lifted a yoke of toil off the shoulders of man. That's not such a bad legacy to leave the solar system, do you think? You're not done yet, Pop. <laughs> Come on, sit down. You'll get there just as soon as if you're standing. I always feel like I should be on my feet for a battle. Yeah, well, we're not battling now. We're just picking up some merchandise. <sighs> See how they pamper me.
Yusuf. is just below in the mines. Sir, getting readings. the hall. What's your power source? Unknown, but sublight. There's no telling what our specs might be. Lagoon, what's your projected course? The outer planets. Saturn and Jupiter are in opposition. It, it could be either. What are they doing? Sir, ship coming up on our six. It's the Templar. Glad to have a dance, partner. General Haldman sent me to provide support. Deep rock scans revealed no bodies at the excavation site. Oh, Dr. Odara and her party are on that ship. Welcome back. Slowly, you were unconscious. Are we in flight? Yes. It seems the door. Yusuf, be careful. Have you prayed? Not yet, but you will. A commitment to my faith. Even when that faith is shaken. Don't worry, I'm not under alien control, which is exactly what you tell me if you were. Yes, but in this case, I'm not. Then why are you doing this? Are we hostages? No. Guesses. Let us say. Which is why I have coaxed the ship to provide a comfortable atmosphere. I have deactivated their inhibitors. They're with me now. With you? To do what? They called themselves the Ima. An extraordinary race. 
It is difficult to process so much data. The capabilities of this ship are only coming slowly to me. What are those capabilities? Vast. Where are we? A distance from Mars, I'm afraid. The gravity you're feeling is artificial. Quite remarkable. You need to take me back. My son thought we were finally together. I need time. Your presence here might buy me that. Then at least let me call him. I can boost your signal to penetrate the hull. Let's see what you lost. But nothing that can jeopardize us. I've been delayed on business. I, I need you to... You're not sending me back to boarding school, are you? No, 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 no. I, uh, I just want you to go over to Mrs. McCloskey's. Tell her to let you stay there until I get back. Dad, is this about Dor? What makes you say that? There were some men... That is enough. Oh, did I love... Damn it! I am sorry. I've hurt you twice. Tell us what you're doing. If I said Xanadu, Shangri-La, the Kraken Sea, what would you think? That you are out of your mind. No, the location is untitled. Do you believe that each person has a calling, Doctor, if fortunate to find it? I don't know. Perhaps. And let's say I am pursuing a possibility. In the meantime, you're free to wander the ship. Just don't touch anything. Why not? I do not yet know what the ship might do if provoked. You speak as if it were alive. On occasion, machines are. Adjusted course confirmed. They're headed for Titan. Why would they be going there? The British are putting down an insurgency in their colony using combat synthetics. Mr. Mazzi, I'm afraid it's going to be a little longer stay. If you and your party could join me. You won't need that K now that we're at zero G. Smart suits under your clothes will adjust to your needs. <clears throat> Allow me my crutches, Captain. It's a smart cane. We'll arrange quarters. Nothing fancy, I'm afraid. Nazi Patillo built many of the components on this ship. I'm well aware of what you have to offer. Hey, Captain, I heard your dad was a great man, too. <laughs> That's general consensus. Uh, maybe you could give me a pointer or two. Alton, or... uh, perhaps the captain could arrange a tour of the ship for you. Thanks, Dad. Crewman, if you could. Mary Jane, keep him out of trouble. I had the feeling that uh, you wanted to speak with me privately. <sighs> the way I see it, you have that ship, it's flying on its own, it's under alien control, or your malfunctioning synthetic is headed to where there's an army of its kind. All of those units have been field tested, Captain. If that were his objective, he'd accomplish nothing. He's been full of surprises. What can you tell me about how he thinks? You mean how he processes data? I can tell you that it's a mystery. 20 years ago in the asteroid belt, I discovered a rare element, Iridium-6. Before that, all of our attempts at artificial intelligence had been laughable, a mockery of consciousness. But with Iridium-6? we found we could reach a higher dimensionality called M-space. And with it, there was no limit to what we could do. We didn't know exactly how or 
why it was working, just that it worked. <clears throat> My synthetics may appear human, Captain, but their minds are anything but. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. What's wrong? You want the medic? <clears throat> Iridium-6 is safe in small doses. I was hip deep in it for months. I'm dying. Mary Jane keeps a med kit with her to keep me functional and altered. Do you have children, Captain? Not yet. They say we achieve immortality in our children. But when they're not like us, we feel betrayed. You think what Dor Nevin's doing is a betrayal? Again, Captain. <clears throat> Dor is a machine. And I will demonstrate that to you when we get him back. Dalton. I had a word with your father. I know you're trying your best to impress him, but just be careful. I mean it. You can lose yourself in the attempt. Thank you. But Dad and I, we're okay. trying to hail us and warn Titan we're coming. They're still jammed? Yes, sir. They're doing an intense scan of our hull, searching for weaknesses. Let's show them our strength. Sir, alien ship is accelerating. Keep up with her. Lieutenant Arroyo. We're losing her, sir. We need more thrust. Engines are at capacity. We had a few more of them. Now we do. It's going to play hell with a warranty. Lieutenant Bradbury, break off now. Tell Essex to do the same. Mr. Chilton, we've got work to do. The shrikes are now attached to the hole, sir. Mr. Chilton, fire up the shrikes. other plans for your army. Next time on Space Command. You've got him in your sights. You have to go after him. You 
should not have saved my skin, Jack. He was counting on your humanity. I doubt that I know my duty, Captain. You put it in your report! You put that in yours. This is suicide. That's the only way that we can rescue those hostages. Down! Down! everybody on Earth? Our orders are wrong. You let all your people die. Even when faith is shaken, one can always hold on to hope.